Hello friends, welcome back to Mute S Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about how can we deploy the Mule applications uh, directly from AnyPoint Studio to our Cloud of 2.0. So this session will be very quick, okay? Uh, we already aware of how to deploy these applications from AnyPoint Studio to Cloud Hub. So in my previous sessions, uh, we uh, you might have noticed that we used Mule Maven plugin to do the deployment or directly runtime manager because there was a reason uh, behind that. Okay, so AnyPoint Studio uh, 7.13 was not supporting uh, you know deployment to Cloud of 2.0. Now we got the latest version of AnyPoint Studio 7.14. And we can see the release notes of 7.14. You can see here what's new here. So they have actually improved the copy paste experience and they are now supporting to deploy to the cloud of 2.0, either shared space or a private space. Okay, so they have added a few more uh, features over here, which is like you know project creation and uh, you know uh, updation aid they made uh, uh, easier over here. And they have increased the visibility. The mo more important part is now we get a better performance while creating and opening projects. So uh, it, it's taking uh, you know 10% uh, uh, less memory and 5% uh, uh, you know uh, less CPU. So it will be a faster uh, when we are creating or opening any projects. Okay. So let's jump on to our studio. So I'll go ahead and say uh, open <coughs> the AnyPoint Studio. So I, it, I have already opened it, so let's open it. Uh, first, we need to configure our, uh, let's go ahead and configure our uh, AnyPoint platform credentials. So we can go directly here and add the credentials in the section, uh, AnyPoint Studio authentication section, or when we'll be doing this, okay? So we are aware of, uh, you know, deploying applications from uh, AnyPoint Studio to the Cloud Hub, same process, uh, will be following for cloud zero also. So I have a simple project. Okay. Uh, nothing fancy over there. Simple project. So I'll go ahead and say deploy to cloud of 2.0. Okay. So it will take some time and it will say, okay, can you configure your uh, credentials? So we'll go ahead and we configure. So mine is Okay, so if you have uh, MF enabled, it will ask you to pass that code. And if you have external ID uh, uh, configured, then you need to pass your organization domain over here. Okay, and then it will show you the screen uh, how to how to select that external ID provider. So for this, I already uh, uploaded video how to log in via external ID provider from your AnyPoint Studio. So please go ahead and uh, I'll recommend to go through that session and come back here. Okay. So we'll go ahead with this AnyPoint platform only. Okay. And I have configured it. Okay. So since my AnyPoint platform is configured with MFA, so it will ask you to pass the code. So I'll go ahead and pass that code from my, so you need to install uh, Authenticator app inside your mobile. And then that authentic app, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, you can go ahead to your AnyPoint platform, scan that code, and it will it will give you the, so you need to scan QR code for uh, configuring your AnyPoint platform inside your Authenticator app. So I have already configured that. Uh, pass the code, verify, and it's verified. So once it's verified, it will give you a screen to con, you know, pass the. Select the environment, pass the properties, select the deployment target. So we are going to select the deployment target, our either our shared space. So we are getting 12 regions for uh, in our shared space. You can go ahead and create your own private space also here. So let's go ahead and select our private space. And you don't need to select your application file because it's automatically picked up. So we'll select the runtime 4.3. Uh, we are, we'll select latest one, which is our 4.4.0. Replica size uh, 
one replica. Okay. And in ingress, I'll go with the default uh, public uh, domain. Properties, I don't want to pass any properties for now. And rest of the thing, I'll keep it as it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and say deploy application. So what it will do, it will actually upload our artifact, which is our jar to exchange first. And then from the exchange, it will get deployed to our dedicated deployment target. Okay, so it will take some time. It's getting deployed. It's already mentioned over here. Okay. You can see in the console, see here, the project is getting built. After that, it will try to upload it to the exchange. So it's uploaded. You can see that the yep, uploading is happening. Okay. So if you want to do this manually right so or you want to perform automation so for that i have already uploaded one session we can use mule maven plugin we can configure form.xml and uh, you know via command line we can deploy so right now we are looking at our any point studio deployment okay so let's close this or we can say open in browser it will take us to the browser So let's go ahead with the same process again. If I go to my runtime manager, I'll see the applications deployed. Okay, you can see that the application is getting deployed. Okay. So that's that's it from this session. That's what the intention of this session to show you how the deployment happens in case of Cloud 2.0 from any point studio uh, 7.14. Thanks for watching this session. Hope you liked it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're not done, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get a notification for new upcoming videos. Thanks.